day in business. Oh, actually, I wanted to go into town. Well, whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea. Oh, well. We'll hunt. I won't do anything crazy before helping Micah. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stage coach. Like, uh, no, the honey brown sugar. simple minded fool. Mm. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. Yeah. I saw a couple of long ways. Well, that would have been where the pineapple chunks and juice would have came from. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. You said you didn't want pineapple. Sure. I don't like pineapple. Well, Mount up then. Let's go. <coughs> okay, boy. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. <coughs> Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Shut up. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Take the horns too. It can all be used. <coughs> Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Boy, where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. Alright. Lead the way.
No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. Do you this mind way. opening this for me? We should have a good view from up here. Water bottle. Yeah, you go to the cold ones. Thank you. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Thank you, thank you. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Hmm. <sighs> Water. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? No! Oh! It's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <laughs> killing those bastards and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. <laughs> and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. <coughs> Please, don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. All right. I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. that I didn't mean to <laughs>
I'm, I say it. My game acting up. I've been a bad boy. Mary, come on, just like this thingy. No, that's that oil. Yeah, yep. okay. Hi. Partner. Say hello. Greetings. Good to see you. Liberty is worth every penny. Thank you. Partner. Hey, brother! I'm too old <coughs> to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Or my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Get lost. I'm sorry, mister. 
I'll see you again. I guess. Hey. Hello, sir. Easy there. Good to see you back. You waiting for somebody to do the work for you? Sure, I'm buying. Thanks for your assistance. Out of the way, please. Easy. You ain't been through in a while. Got everything you need. Have a look. Sure, I'm always willing to stack up. Going to Black Friday shopping tomorrow. Be a decent human being and turn your phone horizontal before you record any fights. <laughs> That's done. Appreciate it. That ain't nothing special, but sure. Some of the fellers who play poker down at Flatneck Station said they had some clergyman in. Drunk out of his mind. Yep, already did that. Oh, okay. No. Thanks. You don't have anything I want, though. Sorry. Now, all right. Have a think about Let it. Let me have a look. Thank you. Really. I think it's awful convenient. Yeah, well, it weren't convenient for me at the. Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? Hey, you look familiar. Hey, Wallace. This year is the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. Mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save hey, my life. Hey, what can I do? <coughs> Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. I'm a man with a bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. I don't know. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now. No, nope. we still got shit to take care of. I can't see what that says. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Where's my double action revolver?
haven't done anything with my knife yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm broke. That's all I'm good for. <coughs> Actually, I wanted to see if you had any pistols that I can or any other weapons. Sorry, I'll be out of your hair in a minute. <coughs> what are you doing? Yeah, quit opening the lid. Thanks again. Sure. <laughs> hey now. I really should say before I do this. <clears throat> What are you looking at? My apologies, sir. Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. Hello, sir. Gum, candies, tobacco. All the good stuff are on the shelves behind my counter. Tonics and medicines are on the table over there. Everything else, you should see the catalog. Same price there is on the shelves. Just show me what you want, I'll fetch it right up. Sure, what you got? Hmm. Sure, okay. All right, I'll take it. See you next time. I cannot do that mission until I get this taken care of. Can I help you?
Kind of donate this bison. Arthur. I don't want to talk to you. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your Many pot. Thanks. Gentlemen, I meant to tell you, Pinkerton's also said they caught up with Mac. Bastards finished him off. Oh, damn it. I assumed as much, but. That is a real shame. Alright. So what missions I got? <clears throat> oh, I'll go do this bitch's mission. <coughs> so I've got a story for you, Hosea. You'll like this one. Can we just enjoy some peace and quiet? You're a barrel of laughs, aren't you? Miss Cat, all good?
in 20 minutes. Oh no, I smell a little honey brown sugar going on there. You sit pretty? How far fucking away is this place? Figured this might be of interest to you. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. And this is for you. See you again soon. Oh, 40 bucks. All right, all right, all right. Shut up. Cool. See you over there. Okay, boy. Still dark by the time I get to Valentine. argue with me. I don't fucking understand. Oh. 
wasn't ready. Help the blind. Oh, 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 hold on. Help the blind. Help the ready? blind. Help the blind. Oh, wait. Help a Give blind a man. Give him a dollar. There you go. Fucker. Make your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Come on, boy. Please, I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Oh, argument there. Fucking see at night. I don't like playing games at night. Got Bill. What? Who has him? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. Alright. Right. Lead the way. So Every time I get close to this fucking boy. town. Never return. I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. I head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. <coughs> What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, that's... Oh. I don't even want to go this fucking direction. See where my X is on the map? See, where, see how it's down there? Not over here?
Just in time. Let's go! Get me out of here! Come on! Cut me loose! for this well I'm gonna head back to camp find a bottle and nurse these bruises yeah I'm headed to camp as well thanks Arthur <coughs> yeah go fuck yourself <sighs> what's next Just want to get the Valentine. Oh my god, you pushed me the wrong fucking direction. Thirty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. That is cold. Hey there. Mister, what's your poison? There you go. Treat yourself. Hope it stays down. He'd bet his own wife on a pair of aces. Uh, hello there, sir. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Right then, what'll it be?
Well, people ask where you got it, you be sure to tell them. You won't fucking... All right, guess we're all done here. Well, so long. It'll take a few hours to get used to it. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> I need a wash. You got a bath? I got something <laughs> warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Morning. Look out. Hey, mister. Would you like someone to take over for you? No, nah, I'm good. Thank you. All right, I'll leave you to it then. Oops. <coughs> well, that happened. Need another nap? Oh, it's uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, <coughs> So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Morning. I'll find it. Hell, on a Friday night, I lose half of everything I own. That'll make your horse happy. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... Come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... 
I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me <laughs> beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. <coughs> you already owe me. Oh my god. Been in the tree, I like it. No, I have too many sidetracks.
safety. Shut up. Safety. Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just I wants have to snap. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then make up your mind! She Leave me you. alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm I'm going. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. One thing I do. You're gonna give him the gun back? There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. 
That's all a long time ago, son. Idiot. Oh. Oh, that's why. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Trelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. <coughs> the thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Good boy. What are you doing? Get off my horse. Make it quick or I might... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Alright. Time to go save Micah. What the fuck is this? Um. 
So, feeling better? How's your scarf? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. For saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen. Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... We're the last, I reckon. We ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Good morning, sir. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm gonna have to take this on credit. Uh, well, no, wait. We ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine. You can do, pay me later. I'll have to take this on credit. You good? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> oh! Why couldn't you have done that? 
Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? <coughs> Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. an opportunity to check my Thanksgiving food. Oh my god. 44 minutes and that. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. Yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. <coughs> Let's see what we can see from up here. Can you? <laughs> My horse is getting hungry, John. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Was that necessary? Got the job done. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Or ignore me and shoot right at him. <laughs> <laughs> Go round him up. <laughs> uh, I forgot how fucking funny John was. Okay, boy. Told me to shoot around him. So I shot the first guy. He's like, "Is that necessary?" Ranch, Second guy oh, wouldn't run away. You? Oh, day here, there. Can you Not shoot near much. him again? So I shot him. Most or you can ignore me and shoot right at trees. him. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yard. <laughs> Oh my god, we needed a mission. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them yep. all rounded up. There we go. Get him. to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. 
All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. OMG. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Uh, uh. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, <laughs> will you? We ain't kids no more. Uh, that's actually good well, money. Never really was. He's <laughs> like, you can't herd, you can't oh. swim. Because. Can't swim with Red Dead Redemption. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in After the end, you, I sir. don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Lebo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. 
I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? My name oh. is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. I realize this pistol actually fucking sucks.
Don's horse, and let's get out of here. <laughs> Make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp, and we'll have his terrifying wound tended to. Ugh. Sure. Just don't bleed out on us. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> oh. yeah. Any fucking time now, sweetheart. Do you know the quickest route to my destination is a straight line?
I feel like Mrs. Twitter is gonna come down and kill you. No, you feel like playing a game, stupid. Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well... Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a hot This tail. is as Don't nice as I'm now. gonna ask. Hand it over. Now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to... What is your problem? Real good, boy. <sighs> Hey 
there. Welcome. Let's make you an upstanding citizen once more. Thanks, Mister. <coughs> Good to have you. You must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here. Now grab some items for your camp. Coffee, hunting supplies, biscuits, canned items. All along the perimeter of the shop. All right, what do you have now? Hey, mister. <laughs> so why can't I do that? So that's done then? Thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. Yeah? Why can't I do his mission? <laughs> Look at What the hell? I'm no pain. Be fine. Hope uh. you paid your undertaker in advance, you <clears throat> son of a... Why is everybody in this town pissing me off? Welcome! New in strawberry? You arrange a bath, I need a wash. Alright, head on over when you're ready. Y'all get to watch me scrub my head again. Sound like a good bath, huh? Thank you. Giddy up! Hello, 
sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Cornwall 15 Tristan. minutes, you want to start the rest of that stuff? You had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good force. Two or three. Yeah. It's time. 
we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? Come on. In a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well I saw how goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang I'm starting to wish I had and you owe Lenny too he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got man. you back. Some unknown reason. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. Whoa. Bye now. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's not coming out. Oh, I got that much. Ain't got much choice left.
I don't know why I'm positive, I didn't get very far. There. We keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> Let's go. Weird, I don't know when they start getting their Red Dead Redemption outfits. Hold. There he is. That's a healthy looking horse. I don't remember. Um, I follow the little so where line. Are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up. And Moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck to <coughs> before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? Moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. 
And this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. <coughs> hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. Been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, y'all. Let's go. Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. I'm dense as all that. And somehow my the girl was pointing this here. way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see... Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Look, they go along the Watch shore out. there. Easy. I see them. So, yeah, uh, where were we? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. 
But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us. At growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year of Wait a second, just want to look closer. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. Like Easy. you were saying before. <laughs> like I was saying we before. And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Ha! Where I'm is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Falle Vorsicht! Hey, Kammer! I see three coming. I I got off of No, I I undid my dead eye before I had a chance to cut him free. Let's get him back to his family. Here driven machen sie mich los. Okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. <laughs> he fucking ran into my horse to the 360. It felt like it was out of a cartoon. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? 
Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? <lacht> Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <lacht> yeah. Unfortunately, that marker is not doing anything for me right now. It's been pissing me off. <coughs> there they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wärst du gewesen! Meine Lieblinge! Meine Herz allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here! This place ain't safe! Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar! Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie! Einen Moment! Uh, um, danke schön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Yeah! He looks in the back and like, there's more land in there. I bet I can turn a pretty profit. I'm sure that what's going to do is going to teleport me to this next spot. And there's going to be a whole plethora of. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, uh -huh. Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Lemon Point Chapter 3! It only took me like 20 hours, but I got to Chapter 3. I'm so excited! Mm. Well, cuz fucking. Shut up. Old Ignit. You ignorant, and I got an achievable. Greener pastures. I don't want to talk to you right now. You irritate me. Clement's point. Where's the ledger? How you feeling? Okay, I'm a little better. Good. Where's How the fucking you? ledger? Ah, here it is. Found it. All right. How do you mean? Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I ain't gonna camp boat. Camarada. Camarada. Probably he's gonna sell us to Blackwater. Wait, where the fuck did Dutch go? Oh, there he is. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We 
are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. When you uh, we got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. When you mix the powdered cheese in with the noodles, go ahead and do the other cheese. Both of them. Make it nice and creamy and thick. I want to I wanna visualize I'm, a, I'm listening to a woman. What are we doing? Bro? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst. Come on, Jose. Come on, you know. Let's go fix it. Come on, then. Follow Jose. and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. What? Like where? I got some ideas. I'm not really in a position to come here. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Imagine what... Rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. See if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> Of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly fancy fop back there do? 
Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make me. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Let's go. Come on. Uh. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go <laughs> through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, Oh, I remember that from the trailer. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. Running ain't gonna help. Come on, oh, really? Back. Come on, you stop them, I'll stop the train. Oh my god. Really? Do not kill him. Try at least. This all you've got? Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Here. No, it was a mission. Deputy, it's supposed to be. Sounded efficient. like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. Fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? <coughs> oh, we'll round them up. 
Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, Corn not Vegetable really. Vegetable stuffing. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Yeah, that's fine. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. How you doing, boy? We're gonna bear left here. Is the Rhodes Parlor House? Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Careful! And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Now make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and Hello? see us sometime no. soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's... And Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents of some sort. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. 
Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting on Dumb and Dumber to show up. <coughs> I of course mean my horse. Gentlemen, follow me. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. It should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't sing the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Salone is like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chelonis. What a terrible thought. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. 
It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Oh, you can right good old worm. Uh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Now reel them in, Arthur. <laughs> hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. All right, let me finish this. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe twenty. 21, walked in all full of himself, we had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Well done. I got a bite. Got one. Ah, I should have had that one. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. A real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then... He sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. That's on the hook, Arthur. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, not to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and gray plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You're getting the hang of this. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? 
Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Good job, Arthur. Something's nibbling. There we go. I don't know how long this mission lasts. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? Oh. You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was... What? <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right. I got one for you. Fuck you. Is that mixing with all the other cheeses? I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tater got burned and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. We mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners who leak up from the sea. Um. You could probably cut off a big piece of uh, that ham for both of them. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Hey, there is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around around around. We care not for martial men that do our states disdain, but we. God, how far away is this? I'm so tired of rowing already. <laughs> Not let the folks bed think things are too much. Indeed not. Oh my god, I got so close and then I got tired. I mean, we it's good. are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just How'd I do? Fine. How'd we do on that ham? This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Just a, just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, 
Or I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. You are. Complain, complain, complain. I ain't complaining. I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yes. They left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you My hair is already starting to grow back. Oh, that's a handsome man. Alright. Time to call it a day. Not in that menu. This menu. She's got this. 